the teeth here are the implants. There's no Let's see what Professor Malo has to say about Malocanic Bridge, which is 014 Bridge. And fall. The system needs flexibility, and the flexibility is given by the abutments. Right. Avoid connecting the bridge directly to the implants. And the flexibility... For Tim, who has already hundreds of thousands of cases, it's not a bad idea to listen to their experiences. You should try to go for titanium because it's more flexible, which means that the cantilevers can flex if you have a prematurity. It's very important to have flexibility in the system. Otherwise, you will have more cracks, more breakage. I have been practicing one for, for quite a few years, and I think this is an innovation for those fully dangerous patients. However, I realized there's this one thing that is killing me, which is, Right, mechanical complications. This did not come very often, but it's like a thorn in your side for me and my patient. From time to time, I had to arrange emergency repair appointment for them. So I really want to go back to the literature to see what's going on and how do I solve this problem, the mechanical complications. Is it this problem just happened to my patient or is it a generic one? And then I realized most of the mechanical complications came from resin material. Especially those fixed implant supported bridges made of either acrylic dental based material or composite resin teeth. In fact, resin breaks. Resin dental base cracks all the time. Composite resin teeth break too. So in the past, we have to understand that these materials are used for removal dentures, which we all know that sustain not as much chewing force. But fixed restorations are very different. Many studies have shown us that biting force and fixed restoration are simply just much greater. There is a trend now using monolithic zirconia framework opposing each other. The system is so rigid that many patients complain about its noisy clicking sound when teeth are colliding together. So, I'm on a constant lookout for a material that is both rigid and right, flexible. On my right hand side, this is an IBO, a CAT CAN titanium framework representing rigidity. On my left hand side, this is a Bioch PP a material of a polymer full of resilience. Now, I'm gonna fuse them together. Voila! This is probably the world's first IBE. This is a denture made from a combination of three materials. A cat can titanium framework. A press-on high-performance polymer. and the individual Emax crowns. This system features enamel-like strength on crowns, damping effect that simulates periodontal ligament, and the strength from titanium framework. In IBE's design, we used the Posera IBO, and the BioHPP material. 更结合到了一昧式的一个二系酸铝的一个材料 Right, hard work always pays off. This hard work was inspired by Professor Malo's principle of resilience and also the intention for long-term maintenance for our 014 patients. 
because you know individual Emacs crowns can be easily replaced if there's any problem. Of course, this combination needs to be put into test in the long run. I will keep you posted if there's any further information. I hope this video brings you some insight. And if you have any question, please leave a comment below. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye bye. Wow, look at the sky out there.